were not um, apart from nature. We are a part of nature. What a venue! Probably the most beautiful one. This is the most uh, beautiful, maybe the coolest venue in COP27. This right here, just steps away from this location, is the healthiest, most resilient underwater life in the world. Out in the natural world, I feel like has been one of my best teachers to understanding what to do next. If you nurture nature, it will take care of you. As indigenous people, we face the highest impacts of climate change and we have the solutions. We protect about 80% of the world's biodiversity that is crucial to addressing climate change. Our fight is for life, not just our life, but everyone's life. Hold those that are polluting our water, um, fueling the fires in the Amazon accountable. COP27, COP28, COP29, COP, 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 COP. Solution. The way that things have worked, the existing frameworks have not worked. The definition of regenerative is leaving an ecosystem better than when you found it. There are ecosystems and cultures that have thrived and demonstrated these principles. Islands are full of solutions. You know this, we know this. The solutions we're looking for the rest in the heads, hands, hearts of young people. One word, engage them and continue to engage them. So many young people are already showing what real climate action looks like. Being part of the carbonize is part of being that solution. We've had more than 200,000 young people tell us what they want uh, like to fix. We need to inspire each other, not hate and deride each other. Make a change through very small changes in your daily life. No single thing you're doing is too small to have a change. One small thing that I'm just going to do different. And if we all do that, yeah. that adds up to a lot. More than ever, we need new voices in the room. We are the people that are going to make that change happen. Us as children, we don't have faith in the politicians anymore. We need to actually tell some of those leaders to be in those spaces. We need more feminine energy. And actually, a lot of men also have this feminine energy of empathy, of caring for the earth. The value of passion or empathy, one of the things that I think the young people can do enormously well. It's code red for humanity and we have less than seven years to act. The more you get out there and explore the world, I think there's inevitably going to be this excitement and passion to protect it. The cost of inaction is much bigger than the cost of action. There's an appetite to move at scale quickly. Be a part of the solution. How do you want to be a part of the solution?